dropped Angel off at the airport this morning at 5.30. I was struggling on that drive. Super tired because I didn't want to go to bed last night because I knew that once I went to sleep, like, our time together was over. So I was really trying to stay awake last night. And because of that, it was super hard to wake up this morning. I'm actually doing good. I Usually what happens is on our last full day that we have together, I'll usually start the day off being like super sad because I know it's our last full day together. So really, like I was upset on Monday instead of today. Also, with it being so early in the morning, like I just wasn't even awake enough to be able to be sad about it. So yeah, I'm doing good. Also, I think part of why I'm doing okay is because I think this is like the last time that it's going to be that long without seeing each other. Like I think he'll be here again in like three weeks. Well, actually no, this time it will be like four weeks. But that's much better than nearly two months, <laughs> which is what it was before. So I know it's gonna get smaller and smaller as time goes on. Um, but yeah, it's still not fun to like be here by myself after like having someone here all the time. But at the same time, I do enjoy my alone time. So I just have to remember that. I'm like, okay, I am someone who likes to have space to myself. Like I really enjoy that. I love living on my own. So I just can't think about how, like I also wish my husband was here. <laughs> anyway, so this morning has been pretty chill. I've been literally working from my bed, not only from home, but like in bed finally decided that I should probably get up and like get changed and whatnot. <laughs> um, but it's been so nice. Sometimes that's just what you need to do is just work not only from home, but from your bed. Um, I might be a little off today because I'm conflicted with uh, it's always like this every time Angel leaves like I'm doing okay, but at the same time I'm like dang. He's not here anymore. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make some lunch and uh, get some more work done. I had a mama bear moment tonight when I got home from work. And it, it makes me wanna talk about how we can do better at having love be the center of everything that we do in life, even in situations where it's very stressful or upsetting just trying to be more more loving so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to quickly share this story so that it's not dragging on forever but basically i got home tonight around nine and i had to take luna out just to you know relieve herself really quickly and as i was going outside i noticed that luna looked up and i could tell instantly by the way she was looking that she saw something that she didn't like and so I look up and I see a person and a dog and I notice that they're not attached, like there's no leash. And this dog just starts booking it towards us. And this dog, from what I can see, like it's dark outside, but from what I can see, this is a big dog, <laughs> like muscly. And my mama bear side just came out. Like in that moment, all I cared about was Luna. I didn't care about myself. Like I would rather have the dog attack me than attack Luna. I just cared about Luna and I was so scared for her. I obviously this this dog looked like it was so much stronger than Luna and also Luna's just a sweetheart. Like I don't even know if she would actually defend herself. Like I don't know if she'd be able to fight back, but oh man. Anyway, I don't remember exactly what I said to this lady, but I know in the moment I was going off on her. I don't yell at strangers very often. It's just not it's just not, I'm not someone that yells. I'm not a yeller or a screamer, like that's not me. It just, it brings out this side of me that I don't like and it scares me, but I full on yelled at this lady and just gave it to her. Again, I don't remember what I was saying, somewhere along the lines of come get your damn dog and like put it on a leash. Just going off on her, how ridiculous it was. Anyway, at the same time as I was trying to get back into my building, which it's kind of a struggle because it's a door that automatically locks and you have to like unlock it. Luckily, there was a couple there and they got the door open for me. 
I'm sure that Luna was slamming into them. I felt so bad, but in the moment I wasn't really thinking about that. They opened the door and quickly shut it because they knew what was happening. They came inside and I was like, I'm so sorry. Like, I, I'm so sorry you had to get in the middle of that. And they were like, no, it's, it's okay. Like, you were totally in the right with that. Like, she shouldn't have her dog off the leash. And so they proceeded and I continued to yell at this lady. She was just standing at the door with her dog and she was like, I have him on a leash now. And I was like, why are you just standing here? Like, just leave. Like, I need to get out of this building. Leave the front door. Just let me get out. And she wouldn't do it. Anyway, I, I don't know what this lady was thinking. Like, I just don't understand what, what was happening. But her dog was clearly so aggressive. And Luna was like scared, but she was also freaking out. I don't know. Anyway, it was all just such a blur. <laughs> anyway, she finally comes in. I think she was like taking a smoke break or something. Clearly, it was, she couldn't hold on to her dog at the same time. But she comes inside and I'm trying to hold Luna back. Because they're, in my building, there's not much many places that you can hide. And I was trying to like hide around the corner, but... Her dog saw Luna and started freaking out. And I was like, you really should keep your aggressive ass dog on a leash. Like, why would you just let the leash go? I don't understand. And like, she was trying to convince me that her dog's not aggressive. She's just like, she just barks, that's all. And I'm like, no, your dog came full speed sprinting at us. Like, a dog doesn't sprint towards someone like that unless they're wanting to attack. Like, I just, I'm, anyway. I was giving her like a full-on lecture like I was a mom and she just tried to attack my child like that's the best way I can it's the best way I can describe it I just I was like lecturing her while she was waiting for the elevator I, and I was just trying to hold Luna back the whole time but I was like you need to hear this because I don't want you doing this again I don't want to be stressed that now every time I walk outside you're gonna be out here with your dog off a leash <laughs> And earlier today, I had to deal with a dog, like a stray dog that was off the leash. It was super stressful. I was shaking so much because I was just so scared for Luna. Like that is all I cared about because this is the first time I've ever owned like a large breed dog before. I've always grown up with smaller dogs and I've had, I've been in situations like this before, but it's not as scary because you can just pick up the dog because they're small. But Luna, I can't pick her up. Like she's freaking heavy. And so when this was happening, I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I'm so glad that that couple was there so that I could get back into the building fast because if not, like, I don't even know what would have happened. Anyway, it was just so stressful and so scary. But when I got back up to my apartment, I sat down and I really thought about it. And I was like, you know, I'm not proud of what just happened. I'm really not like I know that I was technically in the right for being upset and like it was just my mama bear side coming out I just wanted to make sure Luna was okay but a couple weeks back I was sitting in a class where someone was talking about how we need to do better at having love be the center of all that we do no matter how frustrating or upsetting a situation is it's so easy for us to quickly turn to anger. It's so easy for us to be frustrated, annoyed, to judge people, to hate people even. And instead, we need to go about things with more love. Even in a situation where your adrenaline is kicking in and like you do have to make quick decisions, like I could have gone about that without yelling at her. Yeah, what she did was wrong, but I didn't have to go about it in a way like that. You know, it's not like you have to be mean to get the message across. And again, I know that adrenaline hits us and sometimes it's hard to control. And I, I think a lot of times when adrenaline hits us, we do end up yelling. But I think that there's a way that we can start to practice every time something happens. Just really try to just be more loving with the situation. But I think it's something that we just have to practice. And I, I know it's something I want to practice more of, especially being someone who easily <laughs> goes to anger and negativity more than anything else. I don't feel good when those emotions come out. I just wanted to share this with you guys as a reminder and, you know, maybe inspiration for anyone who might be listening to this and thinking, oh man, like, yeah, I want to be more loving too, you know? Maybe we can work on this together and 
ultimately, if you're going to be more loving with the things that you do, even in super tough situations, it's going to spread more love throughout this world, especially with tough situations. Because then that person that you're being loving to, where they weren't expecting that at all, and they were ex expecting you to be upset, they're going to notice that, and they're going to want to turn around and be loving to the people in their life. It just ends up being a ripple effect. I just, I, I just really want to work on this. So, yeah, I think all of us can, can be a lot more loving than we are already. But don't get me wrong, <laughs> after saying all this, like, I know it's really difficult to be loving in, in frustrating situations, but we can at least start to try. <laughs>